So when he got Lyme disease, it was right during the peak of Corona. Oh, okay. So we told him, don't catch Corona because you could have Corona inside of Lyme. <laughs> corona and Lyme, you never had to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay. You ain't funny guys, I don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> then how do you say hydrate? I have all these I have all these limes and all this corona and I'm just not <laughs> I don't even drink. Right. Uh, office space. Uh, you guys I have this corona in the limes and I just don't know what it is. <laughs> he even has a red stapler. Yeah. He does have a red stapler? Mm -hmm. Does anybody touch the stapler? Yeah. Uh, very, very uh very seldom. Very seldom? No, they use it all the time now. Oh, so you haven't run that place down? Well, because they haven't lost it yet. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. We haven't put him in the basement, so that's why he hasn't burned the place down. Wow. Yeah. So, he said, wow. That's a, wow. That, that was like, I have a red stapler. Congratulations. <laughs> I have you hair. Want, you want a <laughs> cookie? <laughs> I had somebody uh, quote the video the other day about my, uh, or yeah. about the podcast. And quoted my part of we sell OBS truck parts. If you don't like it, fuck you. And that was the quote that yeah. he put out. He said, I can get down with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, we were. Chris was like, So, oh, hey, would you, would you believe that Jade even laughed at that part? I thought she'd be like, <laughs> Hey, and the camera guy's a horse. Whoa. <laughs> And for those of you that don't understand that reference, uh, see YouTube we, video see, 15379. See our only viral video that we have. <clears throat> it has 14 views. <laughs> Seriously? No. no. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> it has what, like 200 views? I was at least yeah. 13 of them. It, well, I think the last time I checked a couple months ago, it was like 170 something thousand. I was trying to inflate the numbers, Seth. I know. Well, it's, inflate the numbers. It's, it's like Michigan in the middle of the night. It make the numbers go up. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's like, what? You sound like the oh, Democrats. <laughs> inflate the numbers. Yes. Oh, you wore it. I wore it. God. You know, this, this, this may work out. This hat may be bad luck. Because the last time I wore it, <laughs> none that, of the podcast filmed. Yeah, well, it didn't. No, the sound did Shut record. Up. Oh yeah, it filmed, but <laughs> right, we had test, some sound malfunctions. Test, test. Have we test. tested everything this round? Yeah. Dylan is probably not going to drive back a second time. Oh, he will. I can't. <clears throat> that car get, that that would be like the same <laughs> miles per gallon as driving the seven three. Tri driving twice. I almost killed. drove up in the driveway. Who drove the gay ass car? Oh wait, it's, <laughs> it's Dylan. <laughs> Tell him I always bringing up a comment in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dakota Nowers. Uh, I like that. Or Laters. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good candy. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Get Ooh. stuck on my teeth. Yeah. Was wondering where is the best, best place to get front fenders for OBS trucks? Heard some aftermarket fenders aren't that good. Also looking for gray door panels. Well, good door panels, luck on the door panels. Yeah, good luck on that. Mm. Kind of good luck on the fenders, too. Uh, that's a yes and a no, really. Like, Coverlay makes door panels. They're not original, but I mean, if you want new. But I've also heard they're really all that, not all that. Well, I mean, they don't have the, like the door pocket in the side and all that kind of stuff. But if you're like going for new, otherwise you have to find somebody that refurbs interior parts and take them a, a <clears> decent <throat> set and say, refurb these. A little birdie did tell me one time that uh, that they had the original Ford factory molds and that they had considered remaking them. Yeah, but we hadn't talked to a little birdie in a while, so maybe I'm we not should. saying that they're going to. I'm just saying that I know where they are, and I do know that <clears throat> they still have them. Yeah. Well, not only that, like interior people like that can repair it, like a pretty drastically damaged. Well, we uh, part, right? we've had uh, quite a few of them repaired where like the top is like discolored and cracked and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a super common problem. It's it's pricey to have done, but you can have it done. Like I think it's cheaper than buying door panels. Right. I mean we did a crew cab truck one time and we we took the perforated leather off and redid it with a uh, suede and then um re dyed the door panels and fixed the cracks and the bust and all of them. I think it was what, twelve hundred bucks, fifteen hundred bucks? Whole interior. Yeah. The all four, Every, like, I think four. everything uh, everything. Well, that and um and some <clears throat> of the other plastics in the in the cab. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was recovered. What the dash and, and all the yeah. yeah, but still. But I mean, if you find like a competent person who's able to repair, mm -hmm. uh, a yeah, dash, you can you can refurbish you can refurbish the door panels as long as you have them. Right. And 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 to answer the other question, as far as the fenders go, the absolute best place to get fenders is from a junkyard 
from a rust free truck because they're a better quality metal than the aftermarket stuff. Now there's several aftermarket companies that make fenders, but the best one uh, that we've heard of, we don't really have to replace stuff because it doesn't rust down here, but the customers that call in, they say a company called Raybuck makes some pretty nice replacement stuff. Um, but that's, uh, Those parts are definitely something that we've thought about <clears throat> picking up in the past. Uh, and it's definitely something that we, we will consider continue to consider just in the future it, yeah for right now until we can uh until we can get a larger warehouse set up it's just something that we can't take on at the time i mean we're running out of what three thousand square feet right now we're kind of like that's offices included. And, and warehouse and warehouse, and warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but very soon very very soon mm -hmm. okay so we got two elephants in the room one is wearing a very tall hat the shark? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can we see the shark on camera? Ooh. You can now. You are very jawsome. Yes. <laughs> it's Seth's birthday. We, we have Happy already. Happy birthday to Seth. Yep. Does, does that hat say dunce? I think that hat says Capital dunce. It, might. it does. It's upside right. down. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other elephant in the room is our, uh, our very first podcast guest that is extremely nervous. Me I don't know what to do with my hands. I, I don't know what to do with my hands. At, at, least, <laughs> at least for his sake, he does have a face for radio. I, oh. I do. It's great. That makes Thank you. one, two, three, four, five. That makes five <laughs> There's only five in the room, Seth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for having me. You are mighty welcome. You're not yeah. welcome. <laughs> 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 I, was, uh, I was pretty excited whenever y'all hit me up and asked me about it. And like I. I was excited for y'all. I'm glad you could be our first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did say earlier, I've never done this before. Probably been a while. Starting to have flashbacks. Mm. <clears throat> was she that hairy? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what he meant to say was he was excited that he found out I was going to be there. And he's like, eh. Yeah. Cummins guy. Started dragging my feet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe that's another elephant we're going to have to now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to throw out there now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Awkward silence. That's Every bit of the awkward silences. You want to address that as far as dragging feet? We can. I guess we, we can. can. Is, I mean, is that like drag racing? I'm sure you're going <laughs> to sure reference that a lot. A lot. So, Seth, I... I'll let you. No, I like the birthday boy. Okay. Are we are we really making fun of the birthday boy today? I guess so. Wait, I'm not making fun of him. We're telling a story. Ooh, I, I like stories. Yeah. It starts a long, long time ago <laughs> in a land far, far away. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this how you're going to tell Alec what really happened? Him, oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. You were talking to me. I wasn't sure. And then yeah. it, I, it hit me. Yeah. Uh, so you have... Say it for me, because I, I I'm gonna butcher it. Cerebral palsy. Okay, and that doesn't allow your legs to operate in a normal fashion, correctly? Yeah. So you can have it real severe where it just affects everything, <clears throat> and you can have it real mild where it only affects a few things. So it's just my lower body. Right. So. And you, ways. like in all honesty. So what's the explanation for your brain? I was just about to say that. I was about to say your brain got mixed in there. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. It might as well be me. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> he can't walk good, but it just still doesn't explain why he's retarded. Yeah, I don't have no idea. I mean, they might be connected, and that may be why. Like his brain's in his, in his pinky toe. <laughs> Maybe he fell over so many times and bumped his head. No, I'm an expert at that. Say yeah, he, he always says he's an expert at falling down. So let's uh let, let's get back on track. Yeah. So this is not this doesn't turn into a bash Seth uh, <laughs> yeah. a thon. Well, no, I mean like like you like he's the reason like why this is happening, right? Yeah, like, Seth is the reason why most of any of thing anything happens for CP Attic that anybody else gets to see. Like I can brainstorm a lot of shit up, but uh but if it's uh if Seth doesn't make it happen electronically, it doesn't it's happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he's like, hey, what it would be cool this? if we did this yesterday. <laughs> yes. Seth, yeah, is, Seth, Seth is like, you know, so we could do this and this, and we could hang some shit from the ceiling, and you know, round and round, and now it looks like a podcast. Well, I mean, only the part you can see. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason. There is so much stuff looking at me right now. I had no idea. I was like, this is like four dudes in a room 
And no. it is so not four dudes in a room. <laughs> There's five of us. <laughs> but no, whenever I watched it, I was looking at it like, that looks pretty simple. And now yeah. I have all this stuff looking at me right now. Yeah, like they have one I'm, picture on the wall that's not centered. Dude, you know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, So, yeah. You know that drives Leslie insane? Oh, it drives everybody that uh, that looks at this that is a M- symmetrical person. It drives M- them all Most insane. females. Like, it, oh, oh, it's actually there, perfectly there, there placed we went. right now. <laughs> it, it's perfectly placed right now. Right yeah, between, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, right between your heads. See, yeah. we did that on purpose. Exactly. We did it yeah. on purpose. Never mind that that table showed up like the day the first podcast happened. <laughs> How many tables did we go through? Again, a Seth innovation. Is it really? Actually, yeah. this, is actually, actually, this actually was a Dan- this is table. actually a, a, a Danielle thing. That needs two chairs. Th- this is the only reason that we have Seth is we wanted Danielle. What is, uh, Seth, what is Paul sitting in? Do, do we a have chair? a third chair that matches? I brought one. Oh, look at him yeah, go. I actually, have, I actually have four. Look at him go. Look at him go. I brought it this morning. I'm saying, I was going to say, is he sitting in one that matches or is that a... Yeah, no, that's, no, that's a folding a, just a folding chair. Yeah. And just this a, is a camp chair. Yeah. Well, you're not camping, so... Well... And then not only that, not only do you have... So, in like, what have you accomplished? You have a bag dually. Mm-hmm. And like that you half did of, half of a bag dually. Oh, okay. Well, he had a bag dually. <laughs> I, Here we I go. still think yeah. it was a myth because I have never to this day seen it run. Mm-mm. It just, He's good with computers. He just that he just Photoshop Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Definitely didn't exist. And you did all that yourself. Uh, yeah. Like, well, obviously, yeah. we probably yeah. some help with mm-hmm. friends and family and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. So, and then you went backwards. Uh, you put a or no, you bought it with a twelve up in it. Yeah, I he, he, it he started backwards. He started backwards. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I uh, actually bought it in Ferris, Texas. Ah. Yeah. Well. From a big rig salvage yard. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. Why that explains that a lot. That's that's uh, why it had a Cummins in it. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay. I think it was like three state or three star truck parts or something. And yeah. a uh, and a five speed. Yeah. It was a factory five speed truck though, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it had an NV in it, right? No. It's it was a, still yeah, a yeah. Huh? Pushed way, way see, back. See, I like how everybody in the room that has no BS has a five speed truck. Yep. Paul still makes fun of him. I can't stand mine, so. <laughs> Paul probably has a five speed truck. He does. His first truck was a five speed truck. Yeah. The one that he stopped driving in like 2011. There's a reason for that. Because had a five speed. speed. Yeah. Wow. So, and then not only that, a couple years back, you kicked cancer's rear end, mm-hmm. right? It took a couple teeth along with it, but we're working on that. Excellent. So that's super cool. I just wanted to give props to Seth. We kind of have like a banter back and forth, but well, yeah, Seth, for people that don't know, we go hard. Yeah, <laughs> we, we make, make people uncomfortable. So, oh. so the first time Dylan and Seth met, <laughs> like yeah, there was a joke made about Seth because we'd all been friends for a while, and Dylan wasn't privy to the joke. <laughs> and the look on his face was like that sock puppet meme, like. I had no idea. I you can't my, say that. My God, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> like, he didn't just say that, did like, he? Like, I, I got to leave. I got to leave right I, now. I got so uncomfortable, like, crawled inside my own skin for the person who said it. And I was just like, you can't say that. And then everybody started laughing. And I was like, okay, wait for maybe, your reaction. Maybe you can say that. <laughs> yeah, wait for your reaction. Then you said it. And yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah. He fired something back, something Smart, I can't remember what it was. I, I think you said something about like winning. You said it earlier, like, like winning all the dance contests you enter or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Because so. <laughs> like me and Garrett, it was Garrett. Yeah, Garrett and Garrett Mason. Mason. How you say it? Mason. Mason. Ah. I think what you came in like the day after. Like we had all got in early. You came in like Thursday. I think he came in Friday after. Yeah, it was so a Friday evening. We yeah. had spent like eight hours in the in the hotel parking lot this talking and stuff and for whatever reason was i drunk Garrett, i feel like i was drunk you probably were i feel i definitely feel like i was drunk <laughs> but for whatever reason me and garrett were just like on each other like just firing stuff back and forth that's the yankee in y'all whatever dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so remember, what did y'all travel so, down in was it the 7 3 or the 12? no he drove no, dodge Oh, that's right. That's you did have he had an 06 Dodge. He went, right. he went and got Brent's trailer <laughs> from North Texas and brought it down, and him and Garrett met up. Yeah. And I hope oh, they cut whoa. that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anywho. Hey, yeah. 
Yeah. So no, yeah. It's just, uh, so my <laughs> second time driving through Texas, I had to deal with Dallas traffic with a trailer. Nice. He come down and hitched his trailer to Garrett's ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm out. <laughs> that was Wait. Garrett's trailer. Is that actually Brent's trailer? Yeah, Brent's trailer. Yeah. yeah. We learned a lot of uh, y'all's ingenuity <coughs> and how y'all do with rust. Mm-hmm. Dude, it was so weekend. funny watching you guys. Your heads were just like the first time you saw rust. You're like, oof. What do you mean that bolt won't come out? Yeah. Won't come out. Got to the other day, we put that uh, that drop kit on Seth's 250 out there. Mm-hmm. He was like, this is the first time I've ever been able to take a spring bolt out. Yeah, without a, without a torch. Out. Like, actually take the bolt out. Like, yeah. we got to reuse it. He was like, I don't well, know. I don't and know. that truck's I, got like 400,000 miles on it. At least. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. up there you cut everything, like springs and stuff. If you have to save the springs, you cut the bolts, and then you, after the fact, you torch out the bushings and push everything out. And if you don't want to save the springs, you just cut the freaking springs off. But I don't know how y'all do it. Me neither. Did it. I, I don't know. Welcome to Texas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate the heat. I hate the humidity, but no rust. That's good. That's funny because it's currently zero degrees and we had large 100 car pilots in Fort Worth. So yeah. Is global it warming. Heat? Is it right, global warming? Right. And on today's Thank you, news. Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So that's Seth's story. Yeah. So I like all, how so we you, brought Dylan on and he's interviewing me. Yeah. <laughs> all, all, of, all of this, uh, all of this praising Seth in the first thirty minutes of this episode, so that the, the from the rest of, from here on out, y'all understand that why I'm roasting. Yeah, we we're just legs off of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah. Oof. So we went from zero to one hundred just yeah. real fast, and we'll bring it back down. We'll no, we won't. No, no, <laughs> no probably Bad not. Bad thing is you just can't run from it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes, yes. Everybody else is going to get on it. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if we hear any stranger ever say this to Seth, we will level you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like straight up. Like, yeah, mm. dude, I love how we got Alec pretty hard with that. Chat, yes. Whenever he, he was yeah. like, "What are the chances?" He messaged me outside of the group chat, and he was like, "What are the chances that?" <laughs> because what do we tell him? You got in a car wreck and you lost both your legs. Oh I don't God. know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this yeah, somebody that doesn't so, know Seth? Yeah, no, he hasn't like met. No, Seth. He's never he, seen Seth. He he knows he knows him from <laughs> Facebook, which is weird because everybody in this <laughs> room knows everybody. Every, from everybody in this room except for Rustin knows uh, knows each other because of Facebook. Mm-hmm. Not weird. Hi, internet friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, what was it? We, You and me were <clears throat> going at each other for something. Mm-hmm. And he was like, y'all should settle it with a leg wrestler. He was like, y'all going to leg wrestle about it or something? And I was like, does he know? <laughs> he does not know. He does not know. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of being nice human beings and... and so they roasted Seth and Alec at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Seth was the one started it. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Let's just roll with this and see where it goes. Yeah. Well, like, 95% of the people don't know. I mean, like, the first time I met you. I had no idea. I, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know why you bagged your dilly just so it's easy to get in and out of. I tell everybody. He gripes all the time about my truck. There are people in there lifted trucks. I'm like, it has a level kit on it. <laughs> it's factory. Yeah, you took the steps took, off. Yeah, he took the steps off. <clears throat> Not only am I disabled, I'm also fat and short. So I'm just <laughs> hard. Yeah. I, I don't like getting into lifted vehicles either. Right. Like, like an F-350, a four-wheel drive F-350 is like borderline. Yeah, I'm out. exactly. That's where so I'm at. my dually's lower. And then he lifted it. I did not. I put a level kit on it. Two inches. That's Two inches count. That's, all, that's all she needed. That's all she needed. <laughs> wow! Did every like all hey, everybody the everyone time. Heard, all everybody right? Because we're gonna go inches. Yeah. I feel oh. like I'm gonna just like yank this microphone off the table. Could you not? I I feel like uh I feel like it's driving me crazy. It's a uh, it, it. You you don't like things crooked, do you? No. Except the picture. <laughs> it was done purposely, damn it. Right? Yeah, talking about like lowered stuff, like yeah. dually on yeah. airbags. It, everybody, so that truck always upset a lot of people online. Oh, yeah. 
Because isn't that what the internet's for? That. Is is that not what the internet's for? Right. Is making people mad? I mean, can, can you imagine a more retarded truck? It's got a Cummins, <laughs> a five speed, and it's lowered. Ugh. And it's bagged on beams. Mm. Bagged, <laughs> oh, bagged on beams. Bagged yeah, on beams. Bagged yeah. on beams. <laughs> and, and it was a farm truck. Everybody's like, that's not a farm truck. I'm like, <laughs> it, does, so I'm, it did plenty of farm truck stuff. I would, take, I, to I would literally take time out of my day to take pictures of working on the farm with it. They're like, ooh, ooh, they've got a farm. Like, how many people talk like that? A lot of people. Have you Can you the text internet? like that? All, yeah. the, all the people on the internet talk that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. Like, Especially people in YouTube videos. Oh. Yeah. That's the in the comments. Isn't it like comments. The, the, the rule number one with posting anything to YouTube? Don't, don't, read, don't the read the comments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going to find any sort of information in that. Hey, all, nope. all the dumb shit ones, I just delete them. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Look at this guy. Big media. Censors. Censorship. Oh, censorship. Should not give me the control of the uh, of erasing <laughs> hey, these. Hey. This, yes. Yeah. This this is not a republic. It is a dictatorship. Ah. He was like, hey, what's the login for YouTube? I'm like, mm. <laughs> Change password. <laughs> <laughs> I told them that the other day at the office. I'm like, just just in case y'all are wondering, this is not a this is not a constitutional republic. This is a dictatorship. We're gonna do what I want to. <laughs> <laughs> then we went and got pizza. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> we're pizza parties. We're pizza parties. Pizza, pizza parties. parties. They give you everything at the beginning. That's how we got Seth. We were like pizza. He's like, well, I'll move pizza. from Missouri for pizza. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I heard the pizza down there is better than Missouri. We don't have pizza in Missouri. Anyways, Emo's pizza. Yeah, you know what they use for cheese on those pizzas? Cheese whiz. Yeah, yeah. same. Spray cheese, <laughs> cheese whiz. Wait, wait, wait! They have a chain Hang of on. pizza places that have that's, cheese, cheese whiz. That St. Louis style pizza uses cheese whiz. Cheese I'm, whiz. I'm sorry, my face was in the reaction of hearing a six cylinder diesel engine, but you were talking about a pizza that has cheese whiz as a topping. Yeah, that's called a cracker with cheese whiz on it, right? What is that? That's, that's what, what I, I learned. To but it was a whole chain, right? <laughs> that's how I learned to weld. <laughs> He said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I dare to do that with the real world. You know, you, you, you don't burn your hand that way. Uh. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Wow. Anyway. So, yeah, cheese whiz. cheese whiz. Anything else? I mean, I'm sure they have other pizzas that don't have cheese whiz. I mean, they, they also have shitty barbecue, but no, that's besides the point, no. too. Oh, now y'all just hurt Richard's feelings. Casey Barbecue Richard. is the world's best. There's nobody better than Casey Barbecue. Wasn't he in here saying the other day that St. Louis pizza or St. Louis pizza? St. Louis uh, barbecue was the best barbecue. St. Louis ribs. Yeah. He's retarded. KC, where is that in Texas? Is that a restaurant? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's like Rudy's. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Oh, Dickie's barbecue. Hmm. You're pronouncing it wrong. That actually started <laughs> in St. Louis. Did you know yeah. that? Yeah. Huh. yeah. I was wondering why it was terrible. <laughs> 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 And reel that one back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the true debate here is uh, is who cooks the best barbecue, Texas, Texas or nobody else, whoever else cooks barbecue KFC. because Texas is the best. KC, I just eat delicious food. Hey, I don't let's care let made the from. listeners and the and the watchers, the viewers decide that one. KC or Texas. Is there anything but Texas anything? Nope. Like if yeah. if if it's done in Texas, then it's the best. Yeah. That's just the way that works. And if you bring Kansas City barbecue, then I'm guessing this Casey, right? Yeah. Kansas City barbecue to Texas, it becomes Texas barbecue. Bam. Texas barbecue. Wow. It is the best. Wow. I'll loophole you all day, buddy. That's how that works. Mm-hmm. Wow, we're forty minutes in. Jesus. And I feel like we've talked about nothing. Yeah. Absolutely. Does it really go that fast? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. It really goes that fast. That's the reason why the last one was an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. That's, that, that's also the reason why, like, Joe Rogan's podcasts are, like, three hours. Yeah. And the problem is, though, is, like, we'll get two hours worth of content, and it'll be cut down in, like, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we had two hours last time, and it was an hour 44. Yeah. We had uh, a lot of it was talking about Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't thought uh, uh, that just kind of came along sporadically, but I didn't really think about any uh, any kind of cool topic to talk about this time. I well, mean, we have Dylan here, so I said cool about. topic. Oh, oh! If invite me down, just to insult me. <laughs> Drives two hundred and sixty miles just to get insulted. <laughs> That's a heck of a devious plan you had there, my friend. 
<laughs> it worked. <laughs> Seth moved here to be insulted. Man. So he's one up in you, man. And assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, that might be too spicy. <laughs> wow. Was that black pepper? No, I guess it was salt, but yeah. it's a bad joke. Y'all haters. Another inside joke. Yeah. We'll bring that up in another topic later. Probably. Mm-hmm. Hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry? There's like two whole pizzas up there. Was. Was, was. two whole pizzas was. up there. Fast tense. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have any featurings for you this time. Damn it. There's cupcake over there, though. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, you mm. lost your mind last time. <laughs> Peachrings. Yeah. Peachos. Peachrings. It's a peacho. Not a peach. Oh, peach. Oh. Peachos. <laughs> Peachos. I was thinking it was some sort of like Spanish <laughs> food or something, and you were calling this <laughs> peachos or something like that. <laughs> El Are you serious? Seriously, I was like, El Pichos. I don't know what that is. I didn't Google it. <laughs> El Pichos. Maybe I should eat some of those. <laughs> that sounds good. I want to be spicy. <laughs> no, Seth wouldn't have been eating it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you learned something new. <laughs> new words. Yeah. <laughs> new words are Well, it's actually just, it was, it was two words. Peach. O's. And you were just saying. Is O a word? I think O's a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it was O apostrophe yes, I'm sure. It was. That Texas learned it. You can cut all this out. <laughs> no. It's not getting cut out. Whatever it is, it had a hyphen in there. And so it was probably like peach hyphen O's. Is, is that what those things are? I don't know. Oh, dash, oh. Peach dash O's. I don't know. <laughs> it's peach rings. It's not even O's. It's peach what did he say? It's not spaghetti rings. It's spaghetti O's. We're not it's talking peach. about spaghetti. Same thing. It's like calling pop time. I'm just talking going. about what he said. What did he say? Pichos. Okay. Pichos. So that's so it was just, He thought he thought I was saying on one word, Picho. Yeah. Picho. I didn't know what that was. We should have got Pablo in for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah, can we, we can, is this like uh who wants to be a millionaire? Can we phone a friend? Yeah, I, I can't. I got no service in here. <laughs> <laughs> Kodak nowhere. Yes. Yeah. We got it lined with tinfoil so they can't read our brain uh, <laughs> <laughs> Faraday cage. Hey, <laughs> this is like a giant Faraday EMP cage. Proof. That's why there's a 12 valve in the corner, huh? There, there is a 12 valve out there. And a Z05 speed bolted to it. Y'all ready to go anywhere? Mm-hmm. Nowhere so, fast. You're going to think that I'm crazy until you don't until think that I'm crazy. Until you're driving by, you know, like, by 73 on the side of the road. And it's yeah. going to be full of powdered butter in the back. So you got a fascination with powdered butter, huh? No, I don't. Oh. Seth is just retarded. Not. Nah. We've learned that a lot this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so we probably should talk about something productive. Mm. Yeah. Like Let's talk about your truck. <sighs> Which one? The one that's had five engines and ten transmissions. <sighs> okay, you got the transmissions correct. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's on its eleventh one. Oh. And it's on the fourth engine. Dear God, eleven of them? Yeah. Yeah, they were like. Uh, Did you just like try to be cheap a whole bunch of times and then finally just? Actually, no. Like seven of them were warranties. So I have props Look to at that you shop. Over cheaper. Props to that shop for following through with their warranty. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they were just like stock rebuilds uh, with a converter and a valve body. Uh, uh, that explains a lot. Yeah. Really. Yeah, and the, well, I mean, the truck. Eleven. Took the you. truck only made like four hundred wheel at the time. Is that stock dealer? So, so they they weren't. Well-known builder transmissions. They were like local rebuild transmissions. They were a local shop. Yeah. Ah, okay. You just, that makes sense. You just thought it was easier just to pull transmissions instead of have a proper one built. Uh, after the uh, ninth transmission, I found that out. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ninth transmission. I went to a BTS, and there is no better transmission. Wait, I you agree. said ninth. But you've been through two you, since then. Uh, on the tenth, uh, I was at the track and. Uh, Apparently, I shook the tires and I didn't let out because it was making like this real gnarly sound, and uh, I thought it was getting it. And what I didn't know is that it was like it was. It was just the transmission. Oh, it, was it was doing the getting. <laughs> yeah, it was getting so, gone. It was packing its bags. Yeah. Uh, so what the separate is, is, I bought the BTS used. Mm-hmm. Uh, it came out of a guy who restored an OBS. He had it inside himself. <laughs> what? You said it came out of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of a guy's OBS. 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Shooting out trans. But uh That's if you get a ZF. Oh yeah. my god. Anyways. Uh so anywho, I bought it used off of a guy uh that had like restored an OBS, figured out that he didn't want an OBS because an OBS doesn't ride as good as a super duty. Oh really? Yeah, mm. that was never would have guessed that. Yeah. And uh he, it was cheaper for him to have a 4100 built for his Super Duty that he was going to rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, so I bought the trains off of him. It had like 500 miles. Uh, and it was built for a truck. Apparently, I talked to Brian whenever I had the... I, what happened at the track is I broke the intermediate shaft and Brian knew the transmission. And he said uh, it was built, built and tuned for a truck like a chip. Oh, no. <laughs> and this was at the time a truck made like 592. <laughs> So, <laughs> so again, so, another boom. stock transmission. Uh, no, I mean it was a BTS rebuild, but it you know so Brian right. only has like two builds, mm -hmm. like the standard build, which is like now fifty five hundred dollars I think or something like that, it's and then he's a got a competition unit, mm -hmm. and so he rebuilt it as a competition unit, and that's what's in my truck now, and it's been there for four years, and not a lick of problems. And, um, and since then, your next weakest link was the motor. Yes, yeah, rods specifically. <laughs> Several times over. Several times over. Rod specifically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like to come out and see the outside. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the first, you know, so the first time I blew it up, uh, it had two fifty two hundreds and a four sixty seven, and that combo works fantastic. Uh, the first time it blew up, I had cruise control on at sixty five miles an hour. I was actually on my way to go race some Mustangs, and it came apart. <clears throat> and whenever it came apart in Mexico. Yes, it's very important. Close course professional drivers. I mean, we're 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 close to Mexico, so it's not a very far drive. Right, it's just a <coughs> couple hour drive. Mm -hmm. um, no, no TikTok Nazis here. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> really, I keep hitting it. I think with my foot. Oh my gosh, dude! So what are you? What are you? Oh my gosh! And why don't you get like a thumbtack and put it through the cord through the bottom of the table? <laughs> oh, the cord. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, I'm just saying. It sound like that. Other podcasts that we had. This isn't just for show. No, you know no, that, that to... thing works. Yeah, this, yeah. I was thinking, okay, David Letterman, I get it, <clears throat> looking fancy. Nope, but no, that thing it's, operates. It's a, I learned that. It's back. it's it's not like a twelve elf. Hey, <laughs> it, <laughs> it works. Hey, it works. It, this is a microphone. <laughs> ah, where's the big one? The megaphone. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the podcast where we talk about trucks and make really bad jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that gets... I'm, I'm, I it does, it doesn't dad. matter who's on the damn show. <laughs> <laughs> they just make really bad jokes. Yeah. Well, y'all just breed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a so let's get on with something more important. Yeah. Rustin, did you make any money off your $15 of your point zero 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 seven six five one two Bitcoin? Absolutely. Are you up to 70 bucks now? No, I was at 76. It's actually 99 as we what? speak. Thank you, Elon Musk. If you watch oh. Bitcoin, if you watch Bitcoin, you will know that this week it surged. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's because Elon Musk bought like $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and yeah. then said you could buy an electric car with it. Yeah. When the having happens, he's buying in. It's surge even more. <clears throat> I just think it's, a, I think the it's having? a bubble, man. I think it's a bubble. The having? The, the having? Oh. Yeah. I, having. I, I think. Having. having. It's another that. Mexican word. <laughs> I was confused. I had to clarify. What, what flavor are those? <laughs> not peach. <laughs> and they're not O's. And, and they're, they're not, not spicy. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I kind of feel like uh, like that's a, that's going to be a bubble. Because there's like... I don't know. I think the way the world's going, <clears> they want a, a one world currency. So... That's not wrong either. I don't know if Bitcoin is the there's one... Some but they're, they're, there's a lot of alternate coins that are getting a lot of hype here lately. So is, like dog is, coin. Do, is, as much Doge. as he's repping Dogecoin, you would think that it would... It would be better than it is? You would think that he would have bought it instead rip, of... Rip to all the uh, all the dog coin ballers with the, the whole Reddit thing <laughs> where they bought in because we're going to ride it to the moon and they rode it straight into the ground. Turns out the moon's not that far away. Mm. Well, they it didn't, turns out it's the, they're going the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, they didn't ride it into the ground. They just rode it from like six cents to eight cents, and then they <laughs> rode it down to two cents. Well, that's because yeah. nobody's got no staying power like us OBS guys. Wow, we're still sticking with trucks that are twenty years old. That's because we're retarded. We can ride. <laughs> we can ride that shit to the moon and back. 
And then the, o- the odometer is going to go 399, 300,000. <laughs> And then you're gonna have to do an oil change. Yep. There it is. Wow. Oil. I mean, yeah, I guess they'll make it there, huh? Door panel will fall off, but <laughs> we got to fix for that. Well, yeah, we got <laughs> hinge pins, door handles, fix it. Right position way. sensors, CPS, <laughs> yeah, IPRs, mm-hmm. ICPs, Belgian all these. Yep. QRS. How many acronyms can you fit inside the? The under the hood of an OBS, a lot, even though it is an acronym itself. Yes. You know how often we get asked, "What it, what does OBS mean?" Seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. We only are, are allowed so many beeps that we can buy per show. So. One per hour. Really? Mm-hmm. We are way past that already. Yeah, I was about to say y'all are in debt. Because <laughs> they got no coins. Rust is gonna bail us out with Bitcoin yeah. later. <laughs> just just call us the U.S. government. Ah, they weren't dead. Yeah, whole nonsense. That's a lot of debt, my friend. Like the whole. I think. I think it's all sham. Well, I think the U.S. dollars a joke too. I didn't, say, I didn't think that. Wait, where is that from? That that, from the last podcast. podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I said that I didn't think that uh, the U.S. dollar here? wasn't it. Oh, I just, just don't hair. remember. The, just, I don't remember that much his, detail. He had his hair up in a man bun, and it was like cutting off circulation. Can we talk about now, his hair? Now we like, got. He's got his Jesus hair going. Yeah. I was lazy this morning. That's all it. That's all it was. When you came in, we were, uh, Danielle was like, "Who's here? <laughs> what woman is stuff. showing up here, Seth?" Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a my. really ugly woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she has a beard. Yeah. What is going on? Yes. Wouldn't be the first. <laughs> you you get those kind of out of California. Uh, this is tw- <laughs> this is twenty twenty one. You know, There's a lot no of discrimination. A lot of people ask me like, "What was the inspiration in growing your hair?" It's, Simple laziness. <laughs> I don't feel like going to get a cut. It's just cheaper not to get a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Who knew? That, Who knew? that $15 he saved is now in Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Stonks. I've been Stonks. <laughs> in, in 15 years, it'll be worth about 5K. So, I mean, $15 investment, 5K, shoot, come See, on. See, now, if you were smart, you would spend that, that $15 you were going to spend every two weeks on a haircut, you'd put it in Bitcoin. Yeah, but it, you know, keeps growing. <laughs> Well, I mean, fifteen. I'm just, yeah, I'm just waiting for the fallout, and I just don't want to, you know, lose my fifteen dollar investment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Does well pattern ball just <laughs> ruin your family? <laughs> turn it, turn it, turn it into a skullet. Oh, Oof. There you go. no! Tattoo the little lawnmower on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all seen that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> DQ is getting it. <laughs> the VTech kicked in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sounds like Seth's lug lug wrench. Yeah. Probably, probably more torque. Hmm. Yeah, like a Milwaukee. I've Coke got a, I've got a big Maco. Ah, see, yeah, uh, so that's Har- what Richard has. Harbor Freight. Oh, you have a Harbor Freight. He has a Harbor Freight. No, nobody has a Harbor Freight. Okay. So Richard has a Maco. Yeah. Half inch. Mm-hmm. Good lord. That's what I have. That thing's intense. It's it's insane. It, he like goes out there and like busts big nut big <laughs> nuts. <laughs> it's my nervous. We, <laughs> we, we, we know uh, Richard. Richard likes to bust big nuts. Oh man. <laughs> have you seen his moon caps? <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. This is why I'm nervous, man, because I can't talk. I, I mine's older, like. 800 foot pounds. They this have is one. 16. Yeah, I'm going to say they have like 1600. Six, yeah. Yeah. It, it That'll will, bust a big nut. It, <laughs> yeah. Turns down 33 millimeter. It'll bust that bad boy loose. Jeez, uh, the ways. Yeah, the animation. <laughs> that saved me so many times on the farm having an electric impact. Oh, I thought you were going to say busted a nut. <laughs> you got to work on the 12 valve. Makes uh, it super quick. Yeah. 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 Bust it down. Rebuild it. Grab again. Mm. I can't stand twelve bells. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was what was your first uh, indication? I, I needed I needed to make that just like clear apparently to anybody watching or listening. Apparently, you can't stand seven three rods either. No, I can't. That's why I keep buying them. <laughs> the the war of the of, of the dinosaur diesel engines. Yeah, right. he buys rods in bulk. He goes down to the Costco and he's like. <laughs> I got a Sam's membership and everything. He, Sam's he, Club. He calls up the, the guy. Hey, 
Are rods a consumable? <laughs> <laughs> They're aware, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me again. Can I write this off? <laughs> I was just on my way to work. <laughs> this truck is like a dependent. Do you write it off on your taxes? Yeah, I, think I tried to. I, I feel Can like I uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> We're here from the IRS. We have some. some, some some, yeah. yeah, what's up, kids? Talk. <laughs> there, there's some questionable things on this uh, on this uh, tax return. Here. That says wrong. 500 horsepower OBS. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's wrong. Yeah, those don't no, mine's exist. Six. <laughs> <laughs> wrong guy. Uh, hey. uh, you might need more than five grand for an OBS. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> This this Me guy sinking more and more money into one. <laughs> yeah. Kids. Well, I mean, you. I, I love the I love the people that uh that are like an OBS truck is not worth more than five thousand dollars, and anybody that pays more than that for it's stupid and got too much money. Dude, all day, every day. Um, pretty sure that the guy that's got enough money to buy the one for whatever it sells for does not care what you think. No. Does not care what your truck. He's having a darn good time in his own truck. Like that dude that bought that uh that wh- whoever bought that. 76 mile bullnose and paid ninety seven thousand dollars for it does not care what the land of facebook says mm-hmm. well it's like that does not going to drive it I, I saw no it. absolutely not it's, it's going into a low mile collection yep in one of the i'm in like an auto restores page like a fabrication page and stuff and somebody shared a meme the other day said you know the the ten thousand dollar buyer I want, you know, detailed pictures and, and the VIN match and, and all this stuff. And then it's like $200,000 buyer. Money Thanks, sent. I love it. Money sent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because those people, yeah. 200,000 of them. You, the you, you'll be surprised how many people call us on the daily and are like, hey, uh, I've got a new 6.7 and I love it, but I've got an OBS and I really want it to look as nice as my 6.7. I need this and this and this and this and this. And this. Send it to me. And... That's all there is. And then like daily, on the day, like orders going out for people restoring these things to make them super nice and not necessarily daily drivers, but just they want nice trucks and it's cheap to play with. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people that uh, that sell their brand new trucks and are buying them and dailying them. Yeah. Because, is- you know, they, they'll pay 20000 for a, a really nice one. You know, I guess they're going up. They're more like 30 now for a really nice one. They're going up every day. Isn't that nuts? Like six months ago, twenty thousand buy a really nice one. Now thirty thousand uh, dollars buy a really nice one. Inflation. And they just <laughs> <laughs> and they just uh, they just they're well. Uh, Halston sold uh, the white extended cab for fifty two, as long as the as long as everything goes through. And his other truck, that single cab, is at fifty four now. Is it at fifty four? It was at fifty four three this morning. It's a twenty one thousand mile single cab, two fifty. Two fifty. But it needs a solid axle. Yeah. Whoever paying fifty four thousand dollars don't care. Mm-hmm. But y'all got Bitcoin beat then, man, with y'all's investments. Yeah, I'm you telling know. you, man. It's, it's tell my o- wife that OBSs are <laughs> far better investment than Bitcoin. I just like having something concrete, like what I invested in. I like seeing it. I like having it on yeah my place. Ammo, uh- silver, OBSs. <laughs> uh-huh. This is all <laughs> all going up in value. <laughs> All of them not getting reproduced again. <laughs> they are not responsible for your financial decision. <laughs> we do not constitute an investment firm, and we are not responsible for your future fi- investment decisions. Please <laughs> contact and failures. Yeah, please contact an pro- uh, investment fr- professional. Yeah. <laughs> Try out Dave Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's old Dave Ramsey. He always uh he, he's always out there cutting out all my all my fun fun money spending. <laughs> And I, I don't follow him. I don't, I don't, you don't? I, I, no, none of his investment advice. No? No, I, I spend money and blow money on other places. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to do it responsibly. Yep, yep. What's the fun in that? <clears throat> no, irresponsible is the only way, baby. Are we I mean, gonna... cocaine and hookers, like, <laughs> Ooh, all the way, just go all the way okay, in. Okay, well, uh, okay, let's, let's tone it down. Uh, I'm not that far out there. No. <laughs> We're, right. we're definitely going to have to keep Anna from listening to this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> she is my financial advisor. <laughs> no. She says, no, you can't. No. <laughs> I felt just like her. <laughs> Ooh, you got she has hands. hairy hands, too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have said, Anna, Anna, a joke. That was not me, Anna. Again, bad jokes. <laughs>
We're gonna we're gonna have him back next week. This is our new third person. <laughs> third Welcome team. to the third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is this is the podcast where uh, Chris and Paul talk, and we have a third wheel. Yeah. Hi. I just make noises. <laughs> <laughs> And y'all talk about Bitcoin apparently on every episode now. Well, yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. And Elon Musk. Ramsey. And we talked about making a Tesla powered OBS. <laughs> Gross. I know. Wait, no, but... that's cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I was just like going along with the swap thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we. I'm a purist. You I mean, if there? we. If Leave we... my 7.5 in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we were talking about buying a, a Cummins one and yanking that shit out and oh, fixing it with a Tesla. I'm on board. <laughs> There's a Julia around right here local, isn't there? Yeah, yes. it's bagged it's on bags. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're going to put a five speed behind the Tesla, though. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna need they make it, make it completely <laughs> retarded. <laughs> God, I can just imagine him that, like. <laughs> 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 like the Jetsons. <laughs> Can, can you make that noise on demand? <laughs> not now. <laughs> not now. <laughs> no. Oh, I mean, no. Can that thing pick that up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it picked it up. <laughs> How do you know when to shift? <laughs> <laughs> Got a shift light? <laughs> Power man. Jeez, no, please. Because they just have, like, a uh, gear, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm the, motor, the motors are directly Yeah, yeah exactly, yes. Yeah. Like, it's just that. <clears throat> they just have they a say, potentiometer on the dash. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, they say, like, the amount of torque that those things make like, well, would destroy insane. Uh, so those transmissions. The torque is definitely huge, but the difference is it's torque at one RPM. Like, right. it's instant. Right. It's 100% torque immediately versus a ramp, you know, of a normal Of a superior engine that... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaur power. Yeah. <laughs> Back to dinosaur power. You're still a 7 3, right? Yeah, absolutely. The Huey fired 7 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, until I die. Well, I mean, your your truck in internet circles is very uh, a very famous truck because X City truck turned into a, a race truck or, or turned into a daily driver turned into a race truck. I still remember when it had a ranch hand on it and dual, dual antennas. Mm. Oh Whipping God. in Black, the wind. Blacked out taillights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That goes back to whenever I first met y'all. Mm-hmm. Which was 2010? I think it was 2010 at a North Texas Power Stroke Association rally. It was like nine, it was like nine or 10. So it's been a long, long time. Yeah. The KOA <clears throat> at Caddo Mills, Texas. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I pulled up by myself and it was like you were 10 brave. o'clock at night. <laughs> Hi, all these internet people I don't know. Yeah, I, had, I had no idea who anybody was. And these two just walked up and they're just like, what's up, man? It's a clean truck. And like, I don't like after that, they just made me feel like I was somebody. And like for whatever reason, like that night, that's just stuck with me now for 10, 11 years. <laughs> he ain't been able to get rid of us yet. No. Be like Y'all the herpes. Been able to get rid of me be yet. like the herpes, just always there. <laughs> 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 Jeez Louise. Yeah. I wonder uh, what that itch was. Oh, is that what happened to your eye? Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, you, should seen, you should have seen the other guy. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying. Yeah. Uh, no, that goes back to then. It, yeah. I. So I traded. I got my a bar fight. Trade. She hits hard. No. <laughs> Dude, what? So I got a bar fight. She hits hard. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Let me see. The other guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of felt like it wasn't going to go away. No. It's yeah. It's definitely not going to go away. It's still no. there. Yeah, we definitely prefaced this whole thing. He's like, turn the, turn the TV so I can't, so when I look at it, you can't see my eye. And what do we do? We zoom in on it. Yeah. Yeah. With the biggest camera we have. We've kept an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what did wow. you do? Good job, Seth. I didn't do it. They just did it on their own. Dang camera crew. Whoa. Whoa. That's I'm and, telling you, and that, there is so much more going on behind that <laughs> Behind y'all. Like, like, jump but behind, this, behind this mic yeah. you know, that keeps moving. It's because of me, because I, I fidget. Are you nervous? No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
not your first time. You remember your first video? With yeah, us? I didn't know oh, what to do with my plan, hands, dude. I'm sure my hands have been going nuts. <laughs> since, like, even here, dude. We, need, know, we need that kid on the moped to come through here. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had plenty of interaction through the outside noises. Um, yes. Anyway, back to your truck again. Uh, yeah. So I <laughs> traded my first truck for it. You know, oh, we had the brown truck. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the brown truck. 88 F350 four door long bed four wheel drive. Ooh. At a 7.3 IDI with a bank oh, side the power. Oh, Tell, tell me it was straight piped. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Right after I got it. Mm -hmm. It still had like the Banks exhaust, like the, the monster muffler mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Had that Sawzall mod. Uh -huh. Immediately. <laughs> like that meme? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, 10 minutes after buying my truck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I traded it. personally attacked. So, you know, it's a regular cab, two wheel drive. Didn't your yeah. dad buy it at an auction? He bought it at an auction for $3,100. And, <laughs> and now everybody that, that follows you on Instagram, their head just exploded. $3,100. <laughs> it had 150 something thousand miles on it whenever I got it. Six engines ago. <clears throat> four <laughs> engines ago. I guess it's on its fourth one, so hey, three engines ago. What number was the one that blew up here almost hitting a dump truck? But that was the second one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was, <clears throat> Let's go that out. was a close one. Yeah. I just assembled that motor uh, and I don't know, it ran pretty good. It got it, excited. It did get excited. Oh. It got, it kept getting hot that weekend. I couldn't remember what was going on. Because it didn't have a fan on it. There's a lot of stuff it was missing. Yeah. <laughs> we put the uh, coolant fix thing on it in the yeah. third bay down there because it kept pouring out of the uh, water neck. Yep. So, uh, so you got the truck for 3,100 bucks. Yep. That was like $58,000 ago. It, all in all, in total. You have like, a number? Yeah. You legitimately have no, a number? I, I just don't, have, I I have just don't keep track because it I, hurt I my feelings. All my I have a stack of receipts. Really? Yeah. And all in all, with like all the way down to like buying radio and speakers. Actually, I guess it's got factory speakers, but like radio and stuff like that. I have right at like 20000 in the truck. Really? Yeah. And then people's heads went. And that's, like I said, that's including, <clears throat> that's probably like, so Especially you mean to like, tell me you mean to tell me that you built a race truck that you could make profit on? I, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody would want to give over twenty grand for that truck, honestly. I think you'd probably and be surprised. Like, like, like I want to use the term race truck loosely. <laughs> <laughs> don't like that like, one motor you put in there, <laughs> loose. Yeah, it, it, the motor that's in it now, quite loose. They're all <laughs> stock bottom ends. All I do is take the heads off and put my heads on because I'm too lazy to pull the valve springs out and put them in anything else <laughs> and. Put the head studs in that engine and call yeah, it a day. Stock those, bottom in. I've I've torqued those head studs uh, three times. Now. So for all the people that tell me that I I should build a bottom end for that motor for the F Super Duty, um, just tell me. Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as it's like five hundred horsepower. Yeah, two thirty eights and a three sixty six. Yeah, stock yeah, bottom. It's a Ford stock bottom end. Yeah, it was seventeen. Seventeen thousand miles. Seventeen thousand miles. I'm yeah. not taking it apart to build one. It's not loose enough yet. It, I mean, in all honesty, like it doesn't matter. Again, it's never going to get finished responsible anyway. For your financial right. decisions, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, this is not investment advice. It, it needs not to flash sound. on the screen. Not responsible in <laughs> big red letters. Yeah, please. Uh, no, uh, I mean a seven three is a lot tougher in 2020 and 21 uh, than it was in 2008. Whenever the theory of 500 horsepower was like the guessing game well that's because they um they've refined a lot of the horsepower well, mods well, well technology's come a long way and we have tons of tuners out there there used to only be like three tuners in like 2010. hey my green white truck still got a tony wildman chip in it <laughs> he was one of them he I was had, he was there at that rally where we yeah, met each other yeah i had his tuning on my that was truck. back in the day when he was still doing seven three stuff yeah he's gotten he's gotten quiet he's still doing seven three stuff apparently but he's really hard to get a hold of you gotta have the secret handshake yeah yeah uh no like so there's like competition between like tuners to like really refine their what are you looking at me like that for really what i'm listening oh yeah no, my eyes like squinty because it looks no it looks like, <laughs> like, like, it looks like i said something he's, he's not, like waiting on me to slip up he's yeah. not winking at you yeah <laughs> no, no it's just i didn't a, say that that was him you can <laughs> trial and error of people blowing these things up keeping the torque out of them down low because <clears> the torque <throat> is what kills rods Cause that's like cylinder pressure. Are you the one that helped figure that out? <laughs> yeah. I may have been like in the helping hands of that. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know. And like I said, people focus on them a little bit more now as far as like the performance side of it, because it used to just be like, like you had to build a bottom end to hold mm -hmm. time for horsepower. It's also cause... like the simple things too, like uh, stud technology's got better. Gas Spring technology's, technology's got gotten better. better. Yeah. You know? There's a lot of things that you couldn't get in 2010 that you could get now. Mm -hmm. Right. And even if you could get it in Let's 2010. Let's think about that. That was 10 years, 11 years ago. 11 years ago. And like they've come a long way since then. Well, I mean, like used to, there was no e-fuel kits for these trucks. Like you had to piecemeal all of that stuff together. Now there's <clears throat> like nine different companies that build e-fuels for these trucks. And know? really nice ones at that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah like, I mean, there's everybody down from budget kits, budget friendly kits to help people out. Like it gives them basically like fittings and all that kind of stuff. And you could source your own plumbing and all that kind of stuff uh, up to where you have Matt at I rate that has that sweet kit where it's like steel hard lines mm -hmm. and, yeah, mm -hmm. just like and a, yeah, a billet aluminum block that holds the <clears throat> yeah, pump, pump and the filter and bases and all that stuff. And that's, it's that's what he's got for his truck. Mm -hmm. That's, that's awesome what that's piece. what that super is getting. Yeah, that's a really cool piece. someday. So he's he's got the the I rate kit and I've got the Marty's kit. And I'm probably going to do the uh, CNC four line kit with a fast. Oh, right on. I, I I have no experience with that four line kit because it like it's, it's like brand new. It's only like a month old. Yeah. Yeah, so it, uh, it, it allows you to to run a single tank. You can't run a dual tank with it, but you can use an air dog or a uh, or a fast. It does. It, it doesn't run a uh, a regulator <clears throat> turn. Yeah, the regulator is in the, the pump. In the pump, really, like a oh, fast like a yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You so, use that regulation instead of having up on the motor and then. Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, Brian Gray's trucks run a setup similar. Yeah, I think uh, he's got it's, a, it. Doesn't have a regulator return or anything like that on it. Yeah, and it's the quickest power stroke a quick quick matt, matt cubic's got the fastest seven three power stroke I, I well that's so it's it, but the it's, dictation it's, is uh, well I, he, pump. he's got the fastest huey truck yeah or something I, like i, I want to say I, are we making this up right now like no, can we I, just no, make honestly, up i want to i, I want to say that it's supposed to be like one of the fastest like diesel powered like door it, yeah it's a it's a uh a four second truck yeah i think he's like in the 480s yeah and it's a seven threes block. don't make power. <laughs> oh, you're going to have everybody standing there. Whoa, with all the nitrous and all this kind of stuff. But no, it's impressive no matter how you spin it. Doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it Let me impressive. see your four second truck yeah. or car. <clears throat> right. Yeah, no, it is. It is seriously impressive what Brian's done. He's like on Huey. That's sudden, what's impressive. He's done it with Huey. Nowhere too. He, he went real quiet. So back in 2010, 2011, I met mm -hmm. Brian in that truck. Like what you see, the cab mm -hmm. that was a full was body a truck, four wheel drive, cab, long bed, four wheel drive truck, mm -hmm. a with, light truck. A, with a K. Yeah, it was on the forties <clears> or forty <throat> fours or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it got lowered, and it ran elevens with a thirty eight R. It had two fifty two hundreds, I think, a thirty eight R, and some spray. And I think it was running like mid elevens. And uh, then he just kind of like went quiet for a while. And then all of a sudden he came back and, and, with that, and the cab of that truck used to be on like 44s. Yeah, yep. now it's a tube chassis. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and I, I don't, again, I don't want to get into the specs of like what exactly is, is in that truck, but no matter what, it is impressive. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it, it's still, it's it's a Huey fired 7.3 mm -hmm. and that runs fours. Yeah. That, that's impressive enough. It, it, it needs no asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but but it, it's this or it's that doesn't matter. I mean yeah. nobody nobody says but but this or that when Levon does something in a, in the threes or fours in a Cummins, right? I mean he's not running straight motor. He's not running this or that. I mean he's he's got all those those same hand, right. handicaps. <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's sets in the passenger seat. <laughs> Dang, so hanging from the rear mirror with this. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I, I got I got my last one. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Seth, you can delete that one. I'm sorry. It's it's like Pringles. They ain't gonna be. You can't stop. <laughs> you can't just have one. Once you pop the phone, don't stop. Isn't that Lay's? I think it's you can't just, yeah, I think that is Lay's. Lay's is you can't have just one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, I, I mean, <laughs> seven threes are just cool. I grew up with them. Um, again, I've had the trucks for, truck for 11 years now. And well, uh, well, like, like you know, like you said, you grew up with seven threes. Kind of a, another interesting fact that we learned a little while back is a, a lot of you listen to one of our a podcast with the diesel podcast where we had bought handpicked trucks and way back in the late 90s and early 2000s when handpicked was operating out of virginia your dad picked trucks in texas mm -hmm. and he came down to texas and bought trucks from your dad and, and then carried them in virginia and he carried them like like we we 
knew each other, but we didn't know each other back then because we were looking at that site. Your dad was selling to that site. Yeah. Then we we became friends, and then we bought that place. And then you were like, "Hey, Dad used to sell trucks to them." Like, it's, it's amazing how small the world really is, especially like in the automotive industry. Yeah. Like the the people that that you know that you would have never thought that you would have had a connection with, you do. It's way yeah. less than six degrees. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's got to well, be like, like three. Well, like and and typically, I don't know how to say this properly, I guess, but like internet friends are typically better than the than the friends you grew up with like you have a typically i find you have like a stronger connection with those friends like well, i mean because you have a shared interest yeah, i was gonna say like, a lot of shared interest interests, usually yeah, shared interest yeah well i mean you got shared interest and then you only see each other every so often so when you get together you really hit that connection point and you're like hey man blah 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 my truck this or we did that or unless you, know, you have, unless you hire and then you see him every day this is true <laughs> this is true yeah, I know. Yeah, Dad used to do uh, business with uh, Mark. Yeah, yeah, he used to. So, Dad, every Wednesday, Dad would go to the Dallas Auto Auction, and he would go do his homework, and then all this whatever whatever that entitled. Because up until Dad, so Dad stopped selling trucks to him in '99. I think it was in like '99 or 2000, um, because uh, Mark was too picky for Dad, mm-hmm. and my Dad <laughs> is a very picky individual. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, and that is the condition of like like that was the uh what do you want to call it i i like loss of words but uh that was like the level of truck that mark picked like, yeah it was yeah. It, my my dad did not just like pick out some trucks and like they were kind of clean yeah you, they you were just like, take them if, if you want to buy for me he yeah picked out the nicest stuff and mark was still pickier than that yeah it, mm-hmm. it's got to the point where it's kind of a hassle um well it, it at that point, it was getting to the point where uh, where those trucks were not as easy to find in that nice shape. Too. And not only that, the, around that time, Craigslist came out and mm-hmm. it like killed the used truck market because anybody, everybody could advertise mm-hmm. their vehicles online, and they didn't need like a, a, to sell them at an auto auction or anything like that. Mm-hmm. To, yeah. to, to get or rid to, of them. or to trade them in at a, at a dealership. Yeah. Or they, they could they could nationwide advertise them for sale. Right. Well, it, which I, has been the the. The worst thing for like used car sales for people that sold used cars, and the worst thing for my wallet for me not buying <laughs> used, the, having the excess. Yeah, <laughs> I have no no self control over Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Well, and and you know, kind of kind of all the way around on that. The, the the segue into that was you had said you know that you had a love for seven threes, but you got that that love from way back when when your dad was buying them and selling them to hand pick trucks along with what he sold locally. Right. And then it just kind of spiraled from there, and then we've all kind of we all kind of had the same thing. My dad has had <clears throat> hundreds of OBS trucks, uh, like these old body styles, ninety two to ninety seven trucks. I mean, we we had a new one every week, um, forever. And uh, anywho, it was just I don't know. They they I grew up in them. Yeah, you know? and, and the same with us. Yeah, we grew up in them, and uh, in fact, my gammy she actually has a 1990 that she bought back in 1990. That's a classy one. chassis truck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a full blown classy chassis. It's got the aluminum skirted dovetail holler bed. Are uh, we ever gonna get that thing out of storage? I need to, man. It's it's cherry. Uh, it's a 460 truck. I think it's got 90,000 miles on it. Um, they just rebuilt the 460, and I think it's got like maybe 500 miles on it now. Um, but it is like kitted out. It's got the radio overhead, CB where the radio used to be, the full console. Fully optioned. Yeah. And like that's where my love for converting trucks came from because of that truck, like growing up, like riding it. it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just super cool. Like I've always liked the lights. It's got the lighted door handles that say like classy chassis yeah. on them and stuff like that. Does it have the moon lights and <clears throat> roof? Yeah. See, like all that. That's, Boomerang. They, they yeah. don't build stuff like that anymore. No. Uh, but, but you could get all kinds of and, interesting stuff on a truck back then. And so, like, I, it never like came into my mind like why they had they had these trucks like that, and it's because motor homes in that period of time were trash, mm-hmm. like the engines and all that kind of stuff, like the chassis, like the coach mm-hmm. itself. Big four fifty four. Yeah, yeah. And junk. so, like, so if you look on like conversion trucks, there's like a conversion underneath there's, the tail. There's an RV a camping R- association yeah. or something like yeah. that. A recreational vehicle association yeah, or something yeah, like that yeah. underneath the tail light on like a conversion truck mm-hmm. and so on what it was legit conversion truck right uh so what it was <clears> is those trucks you wanted a nice comfortable place to be to tow your nice camper 
somewhere and go camping. That was their whole deal. Mm-hmm. And that was like, that was the reason why you had these conversion trucks and like- com- It was, it it was for all the retirees and stuff like that. They were right. buying nice fifth wheels or nice bumper pool campers well, and they and, wanted to- And that's why you find them with no miles on them because- Or or, or you or you wanted to be the baller at the horse show. That's true. And like- you West, That's Holler, where Western Hauler came from. Western Hauler, yeah. Western and, Hauler and 2L and uh, what's some of the others? Laredo. I'll, I'll, and, have, Laredo to, I'll and, have to like double check, but my gammy, uh, I'll have to double check my facts on this, but- the owner of Western Holler, the wife bought their her red truck, and then she didn't like it or something of that nature, and then so Gammy bought it from the owner of Western Holler, like so the, the classy owner, the, the classy cl- chassis. The cla- so they the owner of Western Holler bought a classy chassis because truck because they saw it like on a lot or something of that nature. Uh, again, I had to like double check this, but were they, they the owner of Western Holler at the time? <laughs> right. Really? Yeah. So they didn't just- they, And still today, like- they, they didn't just build them a truck that they wanted. They, right, apparently they, like the, I think the wife, I, again, I have to double check all this, uh, but the wife of the owner liked this red truck. Uh, so they bought it a lot. because she wanted- right. Well, I mean, if you go and look at classy chassis trucks, even today, even they're like 450s and stuff they built now, they're a completely like, I, I don't know what the different word I'm looking style. for. Yeah, they're like, a different style. Yeah. Oh yeah, the overhead lighting? is not just like your regular push button or whatever. It's a little, it looks like a little torpedo and it sticks out from the console and you could swivel it like 360 degrees. It's a, it's, it's they, not, they yeah. were, they were next level. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. Well, like, like the beds, the beds are all built for them. And you know, the most of the interior is built by them. They're not like, this was a seat company and they put seats in it and this was this and they put, they built everything. Right. And I can remember looking at, Classy chassis. Way it's back one of the few conversion companies that are still around. Uh-huh. Are they really? Yeah, mm-hmm. they're still they still build trucks now. Yeah, cla- classy chassis, two L, Laredo, Western Holler. Western Hauler, and Regency. I don't think Regency. I don't know if Regency's I around because that plant up in Fort Worth is. Yeah, they must have just recently closed then. Well, yeah, in the last like five or six years, I think. But like like to this day, I know classy chassis, two um, L, Western Hauler. And uh, Laredo are all still making trucks. I, I know that, uh, but I don't know about any of the other. Companies. Most of them are flatbed conversion trucks. They're not mm-hmm. with a bed. Yeah, with a with an actual flatbed on. And them. sometimes I wonder if they did that because, like, you know, in the early two thousands, you could get a four fifty and a five fifty, but you couldn't get a bed on them. And the Ford beds were three inches shorter than the frame, mm-hmm. so you had to have that weird little fiberglass piece, or you had to have Fontaine build a bed, or you had to get a flatbed like a Heron hauler or Western hauler or something like that. Well, and, and really and truly, I mean, those are, those are handy flatbed, like yeah. conversion flatbeds are handy. They really are. <laughs> you wanted, you were talking about buying one earlier. Yeah, yeah I said, find one, man. Yeah, yeah. If you find one, I, I'm definitely interested. Well, like, and it, you know, you had a flatbed and you had the fiberglass running boards that were molded to the truck mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the vent visors and the, the, uh, the actual visor over the windshield and the boomerang antennas on top and the, the wind. Valence and, and brush guards with fog lights in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, driving I mean, lights. Because you, you didn't have driving lights from the factory on those things. And yeah. then the uh, wind jammer on the top of the truck. Yeah, on the top of the truck. tail or yeah. wind jammer, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah, that's where the love came for it, for sure. Like, they've just always been in the family. Uh, and that's, I don't know. In 7.3's period, like, dad always had them. Uh, in fact, his 2002 made it to, uh, so he had his 2002 up until 2015. Uh, the year prior, like 2014, he started having some injector issues uh, and he kind of fought it for a little bit. And then he just went out and bought a 2015 because it was finally like they hadn't, the six, seven had enough like positive reviews yeah. for him to go buy one. Well, that and um, uh, his, his 2002 probably wasn't all that dead. It was just that your dad's super picky and he didn't want to work on it. Right. It, like the truck never gave any trouble until 2015, and it was like, I need some injectors. And he's like, and eh, just injector. Hey, I mean, it runs in the family. That truck is on its like third transmission as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> never give up. Stuff. Never give up. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, that truck did a lot. That, in fact, he has yet to give it up. He still has his 2002. Um, well, I, it's for I, sale. But. Well, I think that's most people, though. Like they, they get one of these seven threes and they don't want to let it go. Like they, they get one and it's like, they're 
their thing. I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here. I mean, is, I can't but, say they have love for them because I blow them up like on the regular. Right, but so. <laughs> but but the first time you blew your single cast a love for up, that skinny pedal. Oh, I was you, heartbroken. You, I mean, you didn't just go and well put it up by the road, put it for sale sign on it. Yeah, call it a day. You were like, I gotta fix it. Yeah, and then I was like, I'm gonna build this, and then I saw what it cost to build it the way I wanted to because I wasn't just gonna like throw rods in it. Yeah, and then call it a day. I was gonna do like a girdle, and I was gonna try yeah. to do like head work and cam. Then I was like, or I, I can buy 15 junkyard motors. I'll tell, I tell you what. So we put uh, I put an engine together. The second engine, I I put an engine together. I did a rebuild kit, all that kind of stuff. Uh, got it together. Uh, it ran great. It ran super strong. Uh, the tuning, I, I don't. It was like super smoky and like had like a like a lot of timing. It was really clattery. Still drove it, uh, and it blew up in a hundred miles. So it was probably <laughs> it was probably a uh, rebuild error or something like that. Uh, so, but I don't want to ever try to blame myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, it blew up in like a hundred miles uh, a week before my wedding, and I like I wanted nothing more than to drive off with my new bride in this regular cab pickup of mine that I like <laughs> met her in and all this kind of stuff. And so like, I wanted nothing more. And, it, like, I was isn't it crazy how amazingly corny we are? I, I, aren't we like <laughs> the notebook over here with pickups? <laughs> uh, I wanted nothing more. And so a good friend of ours, Kaylin Golden. I he, remember that, didn't he? He found he, a motor and drove motor, down here. You know, in Ohio. Did it have he, a bad piston? So he bought it that was either had a blown head gasket or a cracked piston. So he bought it for 500 turbo oil pan, brought it down from Tennessee. He bought it in Ohio on a trip, brought it down from, he lives in Tennessee, brought it down the week of my wedding. The night before my wedding, we tore it apart and found out it was a blown head gasket, scraped the surfaces on the, on the block, the deck surface, put my heads on it that were on the old engine that blew up, slapped all my stuff in it the night before my wedding and got it running. So a you bachelor party. You literally did a motor swap the night the before night you got before married. My wedding. Were you so, dead on your feet? Um, dude, every, it was like a huge, just like everybody coming together and getting this thing done. There were so many people in the shop. Uh, it was ridiculous, like getting this thing put in. Dylan's standing there waiting on Anna to come down the aisle. He's like greasy fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> and dude, no joke. She like, she had no idea that I was like trying this hard to like, I guess, push to get it. And it was leaking trans fluid, <clears throat> coolant, oil, fuel, like all this kind of stuff, like just because like unfinished stuff that like yep. rushed getting put back together. Mm -hmm. And I got to walk out of that church with my new bride in my pickup and it just like meant the world to me, like honestly. So like, well, this is a thank you to everybody that like helped out that night. That was just spectacular. And it always like holds a place in my heart, but like that's the kind of stuff that these trucks, like engines and whatever, mm -hmm. like these trucks, it's, like it's, stories like that. It's so you know? much more than just the truck. Yeah, and, it, and, and like blowing money on a truck, like. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, there's. I mean, it's a similar story with Kaylin and me. Like, I found a truck that was two and a half hours from him that I really wanted. And he's like, I got the money. I'll just go get it for you. And then you can just wire me the money once I go get it. And he drives three and a half hours one way and doesn't take a trailer and drives this thing back. Like, it could have been sketched. Like, he could have broke down on the side of the road on the way back. Like, right. I wouldn't have known and I wouldn't have been able to help him. Him and his mom went. You yeah. know, and he went and picked the truck up for me and he calls me the next day. I got your truck. Send me some money. You know, like, yeah. you know, just. No, he's a he's, solid dude. Seriously, a very solid, solid dude. dude. Um, that engine uh, has made the most power uh, on Beans Diesel Dino. It made uh, 680, 1199. It lasted three and a half years. Uh, I went 1162 at nine, I'm sorry, 115, I think. Um, I don't know. It was solid. I beat the tar out of that engine. It. I. I had. So Kalen gave <laughs> five hundred. He gave five hundred dollars for a turbo oil pan. He wanted the the top end. I just wanted the bottom. I Wasn't that a van motor? No, it came out of Super Duty. Oh, it did. It was a, not like a two thousand or a ninety nine. Because um, Pablo's got the van motor. Yeah, Pablo had yes. the van motor. His truck. Um. Anywho, I gave three hundred bucks for it, and it didn't owe me a thing. Whenever it finally let go, uh, <laughs> beat it like a redhead. Seriously, style. man, I I beat the tar of that thing. Uh, racing the vet. Uh, yeah, so I think we need to touch on that. I, I really think we need to touch <laughs> so, on that. Um, so, so, a, so let's hear about this Mexico story. Yeah, okay, we got plenty. So uh, a good friend of mine had a vet. Uh, the car dyno like three hundred ninety nine or four hundred wheel horsepower. It had a tune. Uh, 
that 93 tune. But your motor weighs as much as that car. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody needs to be fully aware that this so uh, that your truck is still air conditioned, still full interior. Yeah, the, I mean it's it's still a regular pickup truck. Yeah, we truck. take it to church and stuff like that. Like it's it's like it's, the bed's not cut my, out. And none my of that. wife could drive it to work and not have a single issue as far as like, yeah. The only thing that's like. It's not a full on race truck. Right. Yeah. There's it's, no like weird switches. You just like hit the key and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Automatic. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, yeah, there's nothing like special about the truck. It's just a regular, it's what they call a Texas street truck. Yes. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, you just like, you just don't underestimate truck, uh, truck, truck in Texas. Texas. No, yeah. They, they say the, the famous saying about the Texas 2K is it's the only place in the world where you go where, uh, where a Lamborghini might get gapped by an S10. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, some, uh, some friends of mine, actually, uh, they have one of those S10s. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so it's a friend of mine's vet. We knew we were going to go race. Uh, in fact, the camera truck in that video is a turbo 5.3 truck. Mexico, right? Yes, Mexico. Yeah. Uh, camera truck, <clears throat> turbo 5.3 truck. I can't remember, like, as far as any kind of power that it made. But again, it was a pretty stout. I mean, it had to be to be able to keep up filming. Yeah, and so... Uh, the first race that we made, uh, we take off. The vet said that he had traction control, like lights and stuff like that come on, and it'll de like kill the detunes. Yeah, yeah. And so there's a second video that I posted. Uh, the truck, the camera truck, turned it up. Like he like went to like whatever highest boost setting that he can go to, or whatever. And um, the vet jumps. I pull back up next to him and let off. And he was like, "That's funny. The video that I beat you." didn't ever surface and i was like the video where i pulled up next to you and then let off and so i was like he said that i didn't post it so i guess this one's less embarrassing or something like that <laughs> and so like i drove it back up next to him and let off and that was that second video uh the truck the camera truck is like a lot closer because they he turned the boost up on it like, yeah yeah uh so anywho yeah no that that's that again that was a good friend of mine it was like nothing like hard feelings or anything like that yeah um but yeah that was a legitimate race there was no sort of like sandbagging or anything like that where the the texas street truck takes on the uh the sports car yeah that's uh that's kind of a funny thing like most people don't understand and, unless they just are in the the truck and car scene in texas is uh a lot of the real high horsepower <laughs> stuff is pickup is a pickup <laughs> yeah I got a whole lumber on the weekend and tote the mail during the week i'm saying like, <laughs> there's some very very potent trucks mm -hmm. in texas uh houston is just ridiculous and then uh, there's some guys up there in Fort Worth. They've got it's all that spicy some friends, salsa. Uh, <laughs> some friends of mine have some ridiculous trucks. There. Yeah, you, you just never know when you're going to pull up next to a uh, an LS a turboed LS truck. <laughs> and those guys are stock bottom end trucks too. Like those guys are insane. <laughs> yeah, you just hey, roll up and it's a. What's the phrase? If if their fuel pumps louder than your exhaust, you're fit to get gas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you roll up and uh, and the guy gets out with some uh, jean shorts and some New Balance shoes. <laughs> you're about That's to get when you gap. know you're. <laughs> to, yeah. you're like, about I, to I, I give up. I give up. Give up. About like that time that uh, me and you decided to uh, to race. <laughs> <laughs> we get pulled over, and Dylan gets out of the truck with a race jacket on, with his no, helmet on the console. No, no, officer, we were not street racing. <laughs> it's just kind of cold out here. <laughs> He said, I know y'all are lying because I could hear you for four miles away. <laughs> and he and then and then to quote him, he said, You fuckers were moving. <laughs> and then he said, I don't know who you are, but I don't want to see this truck in your this town again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bill said, Yes, sir. <laughs> you got it. And he went Vroom. on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Put it on the trailer. Yeah, that was one of them uh, mega fast common rails, huh? Yeah, that supposed was supposed to blow the doors off a of seven three, and it did not. It did not. <laughs> yeah, it, it did not. <laughs> That's probably like I, I'll say this as like as a disclaimer: common rails, like a like common rail technology, is like way superior. I understand that. I I do not think that seven threes are like God's gift to Earth. I know there's racing. Mm -hmm. uh, Take the street truck. Uh, <laughs> I I know that they're not like the greatest thing out there. I'm gonna screw I, that thing to the table no, next you're time. Not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gorilla glue. As, uh, <laughs> my hair, my, my hair. hair. This is our main Jesus. hair. We're all right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what movie was that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch yeah. a lot of movies. Oh, man. Me either. I'm trying to figure it out as well. There, that that is a movie where they, where he glues his hands to his head, and I can't think of the movie now. 
American Pie, he grooves his hand, grooves his hand to his, uh, <laughs> his crotch. Wow. Uh, <laughs> All I remember is about one time at band camp. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, like as a disclaimer, like I understand, but there's like no better feeling then just like Do you know you somebody. gap somebody in a dinosaur motor yeah that, like they're supposed to have the superior engine like it's so easy to make power in a common rail and all this kind of stuff and, and then you gap them in a truck that's like 40 years old yeah <laughs> not supposed a, to win a two-wheel drive one at that yeah that's another good thing like a, i guess a cool thing about it i don't know why it works i don't know why it hooks at the track not on the street i don't know why it hooks <laughs> I, like i just kind of threw some stuff together with like some basic knowledge and yeah, it no, works. no, uh, no prior training. No, no, it, you didn't grow up racing. You didn't nothing like that. It's just this, just a hobby. And I didn't do like a whole bunch of research. It was just kind of like big injectors and a big turbo mix. Let's good. try this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if we put more fuel and more air to it, it has to make it faster. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. So, uh, <laughs> so I don't know. Like I said, it's like, I understand that the like, common rail, like whether it be uh, Duramax or Power Stroker or Cummins, like I understand, mm -hmm. but it's just like cool being the underdog and like mm -hmm. being, still being able to take somebody to the laundry. Well, and 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 still too, the, the design of the truck, the old dinosaur truck is far superior than the newer trucks. And like, you're you're not you're not always necessarily faster, but you're always the cooler one out there. Way cooler. It, it gets attention. Mm -hmm. It definitely gets attention. And you're, I, I don't want to like, it, it's fun. It, I, yeah. It's fun. I bet it's an adrenaline rush. It's like every time you're like, okay, am I going to gap this person or am I going to vent the block? It's, <laughs> it's like playing Russian the, roulette. Exactly. Like every time I go wide open throttle, <laughs> it's just like kind of, there's also like a little like. Till then, the only thing that your truck does not have that it had factory that you will never run it ever again. That it had factory. Cruise that. control. Oh, the, I unplugged the cruise control. <laughs> I don't have the whatever the the recall. I don't have that in there. In fact, that's on Pablo's truck. He was, like, he was like, "What do you mean your truck will burn down to the ground for no reason?" <laughs> and so, like, yeah, it I've, doesn't have. Yeah, I don't have any of that. That's gone. I feel like this is a, that's one of those uh, those times uh, that probably we should uh, tell everybody what he means by that about the little burn down thing. Oh yes, because so, you'd oh. be surprised at how many people don't know that uh, that the, there's still a recall in those trucks. Yeah, and it's they free. Still service it. Rustin, it's, it's, Rustin it's, doesn't know. Does Rustin know? See, this is where Rustin's supposed to inter, uh, interject. He's not asking any questions this time. I know he's been super quiet this time. I'm actually operating a camera this time. So <laughs> he's actually doing so. Something. Last time so, I just sat. So the the cruise control recall. Plugs into the master cylinder, into the brake switch of the master puts, cylinder. Puts a fusible link cancel. in it. Puts yeah. A, yeah, it's, it's the cruise, it's the control, cruise cancel. control cancel. Yeah. And it puts a fusible link in there. That way, if uh, if that sensor shorts out, it doesn't melt the wires and catch the truck on fire. Well, right. the, the reason why it was happening is, is brake fluid was leaking out and up and into the sensor, shorting the wires together. And since it was brake fluid, it was flammable. It's setting that on fire mm -hmm. right next to the master cylinder, set that on fire, and then it caught the whole truck on fire. And that circuit is live all the time. Yeah. It is to this day still an active recall at Ford. You take your truck to Ford. They check the VIN as long as it's never had the recall done. They, uh, they plug the, the recall uh, harness in, you're in and out 15, 20 minutes yep. in most dealerships. Well, and so if you no doubt, no, have, no cost. have a 92 to 97 OBS Ford. With cruise control. With cruise control. And you look on it in your master brake cylinder and see just one little pigtail going into the end of it. And there's no weird harness all kind of taped up. Go to your local Ford store. You and have been fixed. warned. <laughs> well... Yeah. Well, and kind of on this same subject, I bought uh, a four-door Bronco recently that had not had the recall done on it. Mm -hmm. Four-door Bronco. Four -door Bronco, yes. <laughs> so the very first thing I did because I couldn't get it into the dealership fast enough is I just unplugged it. Right. Because if it's unplugged, it can't it, short. It, it can't it short. It can't con uh, complete the circuit and short out. Hey, can't this still happen on a Super Duty too? Well, yeah, it I think can, there's but other years. Common. Okay, there's yeah. other years, like, and it was like expeditions and explorers and, and bunch of stuff like that. Too. Well, yeah. we only know about F series oh, yes. stuff, yeah. so like Broncos and two fifties and all that. But like, just unplug the damn thing, drive up to the Ford dealership and say, "Check my van, make sure this hasn't been done before. If it's not been done before, and they don't have time that day, they will say, "Come in tomorrow at X time, and we'll do it." Like the last one that I took in the the uh, four door Bronco. They actually unscrewed the the sensor, put a new sensor in, 
and mm -hmm. a pigtail harness on that yeah, because it's a, both. yeah it's because the truck was old enough that the sensor needed to be replaced so they replaced the sensor and a harness on it and then they put it in the system as it's been done right so that way you know from now on and if the i don't know why anybody would take it off but if if somebody takes it off the, the the recall off and throws it away for whatever reason you can buy them at any hardware or any hardware any uh <laughs> part store, any, part store. Any, well any any part store even o'reilly's has them they're like 1995 really? you know yeah so so even if yeah. ford denies you just do it because it will burn the truck down if it shorts out all right we right. see posts every day on facebook of i don't know why my truck burned down in the driveway and the whole like driver side of it is just melted down Right, and it's like look, it, you can it's, see it in the front. It's a twenty dollar part that will, that will save your truck. And you're like, did you do the cruise control recall? And, What's that? And like, not only that, there was a guy locally that had I, it was a Super Duty. I remember he just bought a Super Duty and had it parked in the garage, and it burned his house down. Mm -hmm. well, We're we not have, saying that it's going to burn your house down if you don't have it. I'm just saying it is a possibility. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it certainly can happen. Well, and, and another super common thing to check is, especially right now, while it's cold, is everybody plugs their truck in a block heater. Mm -hmm. And these things are 20 something years old. Block heater cord is frayed and eat up and it shorts out and it burns your truck down. Cause nobody ever looks at that kind of stuff. They're just like, yep. yeah, 110 right, right to my truck. Yeah. yeah. And, and then they put to the frame. Well, and, and then they plug it in at eight o'clock at night and they're not going to come back out till eight o'clock the next morning. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, nobody ever even thinks about it. You'd be surprised at how many of those things that we sell as replacements every year. <laughs> really? they, they, they come outside and look like their trucks seen Puff the Magic Dragon. Just <laughs> nothing left of it. Good Lord. <laughs> Y'all about to probably sell a bunch of oil cooler kits locally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody will get up tomorrow morning and it's going to be just <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of oil underneath a bunch of seven threes. Yeah, yeah, down here it never gets cold enough to have to worry about it. Yeah. Y'all got plenty of just well, humidity you, and moisture. Yeah, you drove down here and brought the cold with you. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, it's gonna be zero degrees Monday morning. And every everybody like everybody <laughs> north of basically Dallas is like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel real bad about it for y'all. Yeah. Uh uh JR sent me a thing a while ago. It's negative ten where he's at. No thanks. We just don't get zero degrees. Like we don't like it hardly froze last year. And yeah. I used to try like it was maybe twenty nine degrees last year. Yeah, it's supposed to cold yeah. It's supposed to be a high of thirty Monday or something like that. Here? High of twenty three yeah. now. Here. Uh, we, I think high of twenty three? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're in cold. the teens. I, I think we're in the teens on Monday. And then like I said, it's supposed to be zero. You know what's funny? A refrigerator. Global warming. <laughs> it's supposed to be zero. That's 30 32 degrees colder than a fridge. <laughs> yeah. It's it's currently 30 degrees warmer inside the fridge in, in uh, the Midwest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, you, you hop in the fridge ready to get warm. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why is the fridge not running? Oh, it doesn't need to. <laughs> yeah. It's not kicking on at all. It's It's been a lot of fun with the trucks. Uh, I 100% bought my Dually, uh, my 95, because it matches Whitey. Uh, and it's a conversion truck. It is a conversion that's, truck. That's probably... That, like that's, not, the, uh, that, that's the other kind of part of it. Like, like If like, it wasn't white, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Like like 95% that it matches because it's white and 5% because it was a conversion truck. It's really like 50 50. Yeah. Because it's like, the, it's like, it's not too much wood grain. It doesn't have like the stick on wood grain onto the mm -hmm. cluster. Yeah. It's just the trim. It's and it's got, console. it's got that inlaid wood trim too that's got the like design in the wood trim, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's Captain's front and rear. Yeah, it's not overly gaudy. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's and I'm like, this is more. Yeah, some of them are way overdone. Yeah. I like the, the, uh, skateboard tape. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, so the, all those trucks on the, the Fabregas running boards, mm -hmm. the rubber's always missing off of one. Mm -hmm. instead yeah, just of, one. Yeah, instead of like trying to find one little rubber piece that you, I don't even know where in the heck you would get one, I pulled all of them off and I went on online and got a uh, Grizzly skateboard grip tape. And you have since not had hide on the back of your shins. That stuff will take your skin off. <laughs> yeah. If you miss that running board, it will take your skin off. But they've done that in your truck. But yeah. it's not just any skateboard tape. It it's is. Very it's saddle blanket. Yeah, Western, saddle blanket. Yeah. 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 I had somebody comment. It was like, wow, rainbow running boards. That explains everything. And ah. I was like, well, it's saddle blanket. So cool, man. I don't know. If, it wouldn't be a problem if it was rainbow. So... <laughs> 
the Nobody internet, understands Texas. No. The, the the internet is full of it's just a complete cesspool. It really is. It, it's it's a terrible place because that's where we hang out. Hey, we're on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like we're the only sane this, ones. The sad part is is like you don't know how to read like people's sense of humor and all that kind of stuff on there. Mm-hmm. And like there's some really cool people on there. Sure, like, yeah, we're on here, but there's also just like some terrible like <laughs> I don't understand how you woke up that morning and you chose to be like that. That hateful. That hateful. <laughs> or that dumb. You've got to you've got to have something going on in your life where you're just like, that guy posted what picture? Oh no 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 no! I can't have that. I'm gonna talk <laughs> crap about that guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't stand that. Like, just let people do their thing. If they're proud of it, they're gonna post it. If they're not, whatever. Exactly. So you do have to wonder sometimes though, when like, like selfies and stuff. You're like. That's what you chose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like when people cut out their fenders and put on the fender flare. Yeah. Like, that's what you chose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love when Seth posts a picture of his truck and everybody's like, please paint those fender flares. <laughs> yeah, plans like to, every, right? Every, every yeah. time. Please like, paint the fender flares. Like seriously, like I hadn't, really, I was just going to leave them gray and I was going to have a red and white tailgate and a, and a, yellow roll pan. That's, we're going to have that Big Mac looking tailgate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, guys, that t- no, you know, I got that far and I was like, you know what? That's good. No, so there are some people like that, though. They're like, that was perfect. I will drive my truck this way. I mean, have you seen the ones with the squatted rears? <laughs> <laughs> they do that on purpose. They for do that for on a low purpose. price in 1995, you can help a uh, less fortunate person finish their lift. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's still too much. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back to the finish your project conversation. Hey, if I wasn't here working, I could probably work on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> he said one could probably, time. but. Mm-mm. Maybe maybe he'll have uh, Monday afternoon to do it, and we won't have to redo this podcast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, <hold on. laughs> wow! Wow! That's so rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of set that up. Yeah. No, oh, it was great. Good. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Thanks for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. The the having the truck has introduced me to a lot of cool people. Um, and I think that's something that a lot of a lot of times people miss is uh, is especially people that don't understand like if you went to car culture mm-hmm. is it's not really about the cars it's more about the people yeah well you go you, you go, go home and tell your wife about my cool internet friend and his OBS truck she's like yeah okay, <laughs> okay. I told her, first I of like, all hey, Chris and Paul uh, said that they want to have me on a podcast she was like so what are you gonna do about it. <laughs> no, she said she was she was excited. She was excited. Yeah, she said, so, okay. So how are you gonna get down there? <laughs> and you're like, well, neither one of my trucks will start, so I'm take your car. <laughs> Did I tell you it's 40 degrees outside? Yeah, I'm all so yeah, I I think that's the thing that that's lost in a lot of people is is it's it's. Sure, it's the the trucks or whatever are fun, but it's it's the people that you get to know along the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it, it's it's one of those things that like you spend a fortune to meet people. <laughs> I, mean, I would do it in other ways. I mean, I would meet really sketchy people if I was into drugs. Yeah. <laughs> cheaper. But, uh, it would be way cheaper. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah, and and as far as like, just do whatever you think like what you want to do. There's like way too much, like you see it out there and it's just like, I see that, that's cool, I want to do that. Mm-hmm. And they're not like, it's. I'm gonna use the term cookie cutter and it's because they're not really molding it to the way that they like. They, yeah. It mm-hmm. is like, they want that attention of what that particular thing well, is getting. You mean like four wheel drive flares on a lower truck? <laughs> yeah, I see that everywhere. Yeah. So I'm really glad uh, in the, like the dualies that are parked in the driveway, they don't have engines in them and stuff like that. Like, really unique touch. Yeah, right <laughs> I learned that one from Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's out there. In the <laughs> I'm just not on his level yet. Yeah. But mine's out there with no axles under it. It's like a hover truck. Yeah. <laughs> At least it doesn't have hidden. an engine in it. Yeah. No, At it least. doesn't. It does not. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> or a transmission. Uh, or a transmission. Or a rear end. <laughs> or a front end. Or a bed. Seth has something up on you right now. I, yeah. He, yeah. Golly. Not a leg, but something. <laughs> Damn, Ooh. poor Seth. But yeah. uh, no, yeah, just like do your own thing. If you think it's cool, do it. 
I, I, I like who, that. Who 15 cares? minutes of praise for an hour and 15 minutes of, uh, of straight hey, bashing. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Who likes it work? <laughs> <laughs> they work. They work. I, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest though. You do with like, and I'm not trying to be insulting, but you do with like 75% of like a working body. I'm gonna say 75%. Like you don't you don't, you don't have like yeah he has as kids. easy and you do so much more. <laughs> oh my god! You do so much more than what people do. Like that's super cool. So yeah, yeah. Seriously, good on you, Seth. Yeah. Like I. If I sleep wrong, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not getting this done. <laughs> I told you earlier, like, I was underneath my truck, spinning the oil filter off, and, like, for whatever reason, it just hung on the last thread. I was like, what in the world? I took my hand off, fell off, and got oil off the concrete, me, and I was like, <laughs> I'm going inside. So, I, <clears throat> yeah, I props to you for continuing on because, like, thanks, Dylan. Yeah. Well, like, he, he lowered his truck in this first bay here, just behind this wall. Yeah. With hand tools on a freaking piece of cardboard. Two weeks ago. Right. I helped for 15 minutes. What'd you do? Come make coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I stood there like this. Yeah. Don't even drink I coffee. Don't drink coffee. <laughs> I made coffee for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's like I said, it's uh, meeting everybody super cool. And uh, the, I don't know. If you just apply yourself to like to your project and, and don't try to do it for any other reason besides like making you happy. He did it in pieces, which completed the truck, and it's further along than most project vehicles are. Then it has Super Duty out there. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh. <laughs> 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 I think that's how you play a flute. <laughs> no, it's more like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's how you blow up a balloon. <laughs> but but coming down to projects, kind of like you know what put us all together, uh, you know Seth and, yeah. and all of us. You know, we, we have a common interest on projects, on building these trucks to, to suit our own taste. Mm -hmm. But the, the the end goal is to do do what you can do with what you have. Right. Like not, you know, Jesse James talks about this all the time about you don't have to have a CNC and you don't have to have this special hydraulic bender and you don't have to have all these special tools to actually do it if you apply yourself to-, to And, and if only, you'll just do it. The yeah. only thing you have to have is the want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, my shop teacher in high school. He said that'll make the difference between getting something done and not is having the want to. Yeah, Just being being successful in life is uh, is more about uh, making mistakes, learning from them, and keeping going than it is actually doing things right. Well, especially right. the first time. Well, and, and and another thing too is if you try and take on everything at one time, you burn yourself out like that. Yeah. How do you eat an elephant? Yep. Mm -hmm. One bite at a time. I mean, and if you burn yourself out, you never get back on that project. Whereas you do a little bit at the time, you kind of complete the project and then you can go show off what you've got done to people. And most people respect a build even in the middle of it because they can see the final, especially car culture people can see the final result. Like they know what direction you're heading in. And then it also like if you're doing it in little segments at the time, you may change your mind mid build and decide like, I want to do this or I want to do that. Like So something that we uh, that we added into the last one that I'd like to add into this one is uh, is Questions. I know these. I know people out there have questions, uh, especially like even things that we talked about today or whatever. Um, something like just if you have a question, email it in. Um, YouTube comments. Uh, yep. you, you have to ignore all the stupidity in there. If you want to just put in a, a legitimate question, we would definitely bring that up. Um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, so, pretty much, pretty, pretty much anywhere where you can contact CP Attic. If you want to ask a question. I, I I would be glad to uh, to bring it up on the show and kind of try to answer the question the best we can. Um, we'll pick you know three or four, uh, well, uh, one. Yeah. If, well, you like, like you said, you can they can email Facebook, Instagram, call us on the phone, carrier pigeon. Yeah, like Telegram. Yeah, smoke signals. Whatever whatever is the easiest way for them to get it to us, we'll definitely you know take into consideration all questions and answer all questions. And another thing too is if you want to be on the podcast yeah send in like hey hey and we'll put a list together because we've got hey this is why i'm interesting and yeah. this is why i should be on the show <laughs> why am i here <laughs> we felt uh, sorry for you <laughs> oh. tbd uh, oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> we'll see yeah yeah we'll see um <clears throat> like and subscribe right 
but anyway, we're we're always looking for guests and and bringing more interesting content to you. So uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to this podcast. Again, if you've can got you any- like podcasts. Uh, you, you can follow. Subscribe. Yeah, you can follow. Well, you can subscribe. You can yeah. you can like it, and it'll like yeah. on yeah. Apple Podcasts. At least. Yeah, I mean you can um, on you can on hey, uh, Pandora. Help too. us with them uh with them five star ratings on on uh yes. Hey, we got two two five stars. Yes. Never mind, it was our wives, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Seth, really? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean, mean with Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rogen, really? <laughs> But uh, anyway, like and subscribe. Follow Thanks. us. Bye. Bye. Say, say bye, Dylan. Bye, everybody. Thanks for having me. You, you, guys. you, you missed that. You I, missed I the, set that you up. Missed for that. You, you could have been like, bye, Dylan. Do it again. <laughs> say bye, Dylan. Say bye, Dylan. Bye, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cut any part of that out. It has to be exactly how it happened. Full length. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs>